and you can call Father Judgment names too. Uh, it doesn't matter, cause if the name don't apply that you're calling somebody, it doesn't matter. See, real people look beyond name calling, and and when you we do videos and you read the bottom of the screen, you're all kind of niggas, or white man, old bastards, and you know pervert shit. And, I mean, you just get you get overwhelmed by this shit. And when you go look at them, either they're a troll. Or there's some kid. I mean, and this goes on constantly throughout YouTube. And what does that do to people? I mean, we're, we're, we're talking about racism versus friendship versus race relations with understanding. And and I understand you. I feel you. When you went through your shit, you came back kind of skinny. Don't give me, you looking, you looking skinny when you, after your uh, surgery. You was, you was looking like you needed a cheeseburger. And, um, and I'm like, well, I hope he's feeling good. I need to give you my new phone number. Um, all this shit that we go through is for what? Uh, I'm tired of seeing one group of people look at that group of people like they're the problem. And then when you look at the whole thing, the group of people that's pointing the fingers is the problem. Um, we here in America are different than any other country on the world and and then when you talk to these people from these other countries it's the first thing they say you Americans know nothing you know nothing all you do is want to change policies in other people's countries and da 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 we Americans we know a whole bunch apparently Americans know too much we're always in somebody's business um, and that brings me to this now like I was saying about the media, how the media puts a spin on things. We're going to use uh, this as an example. Tiger Woods. I don't care if Tiger Woods had an affair. He's not my husband. His sister, his sister, his wife ain't my sister. His, his daughter is not my goddaughter. He's not my brother-in-law. I don't care if Tiger Woods did Tiger Woods thing. And that's the problem with, 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 with people and society. Instead of paying attention to what we really need to be paying attention to, those telling us that we're a problem towards each other, we need to look at who's pushing the buttons in these control rooms and shit and making news out of somebody's personal life. I don't care about Tiger Woods. I don't care about golf. I don't care about his family. I don't care about his kids. I don't care about his mama. I don't care about his father. God rest his soul. I wish Tiger Woods' father was alive so he could tell Tiger, you know what? These people get more from you than you get from them. And if I could talk to Tiger Woods right now, I say, son, shut it down. Don't give them nothing. Because when you show up at the golf tournament, they got to pay you to show up. When you on a golf tournament, People watch the tournament. you my son. If he's talking with my son, I'd be like, shut him down. You go play golf. When you play golf, you play when you want to. You don't need no money no more. Go play and have fun. Take care of your family. You got money to do it. You can do whatever you want to do, son. You don't have to do this no more because now they're stepping on your life. Fuck them. Show them exactly what we do. And I would shut that shit. Man, Tiger Woods is retired from golf. They be in front of the house for three years waiting for me to come out. I come out with my golf clubs and go putt around my backyard with the 18 hole course. Shit like that. Tiger Woods personal life is major news. We have problems in our country that are bigger than Tiger Woods can stand up tall. Bigger than any stack of money he can pull out. Bigger than any win Tiger can win. We got way bigger problems than this man and his wife arguing. And yes, my wife would have bust my ass with some golf clubs too. Your wife would bust your ass with some golf clubs too. It's a personal matter. And it's major news. What have we become? We can't deal with each other. We can't talk to each other. And the only thing worth anything is some 
so-called celebrity's personal life. We got a president trying to push health care. I know a lot of people don't like Barack Obama, but that's the only president we have. You stand behind the guy we got playing quarterback, whether we win the game or not. You do not root against the home team when you are the home team. There is no logic in that whatsoever, but the president is black, so these Negroes are going to ruin the whole country. Every policy that he was told to implement, everything he was told to do, reflects upon a black man ruining something. I said it because that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like to millions of white people in America that this black guy comes in and screwed up their country. We're all the same people. Poor. We're peasants. Barack is not the king. We are peasants in the United States of America. Anything under $140,000 a year is a peasant. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, did Barack say 150000 a year? I forget. But as an individual and as a person, we do need health care. Because if I'm a Ikimuro Electronics, I'm not coming to America and have to pay health care for a bunch of sick-ass people to come to work. And I'm not going to want to give them $10, $15 an hour either. Because Americans complain and bitch and cry about shit. If you just work harder, you can get what you want out of life. These people have worked fucking hard all their lives and Enron and World Bank and this bank and these people and these people, people take from hard workers. You see what I'm saying? Like I said in that last video, a CEO can rob a whole fucking town, but they're going to show that black guy carjacking. See what I'm saying? The carjackers might get more time than the embezzlers. See what I'm saying? They get them for like small shit, like like petty shit. Like me and you go write a bad check. We might do five or six years. They write bad checks for billions. It was a mistake, an honest mistake. Well, my, my, my bad check for $45 was an honest mistake too. You know what I mean? But they don't get in trouble, we do. And that's the difference between them and us. Because we are taught to fight each other and argue and bicker amongst each other and not with them. That's why they call it white collar crime. Blue collar crime. And niggas and Mexicans crime. You know what I'm saying? I mean, as an individual, we all deserve better than the shit they're see serving us. You know, serving up some bullshit. It's tasty. It's good. It's all right. But it's not filling. Doesn't get you to the where you gotta go. And it costs too much. And you have to pay for it or you're dead. That's the life we have. We have a pay-per-view life. It's slated. Everybody blacks a criminal or sell crack or do drugs. Everybody white is racist. Every Mexican takes a job and Asians can't drive. That's the world we live in. A black man will rape you and uh, sodomize your daughters. And white people don't rape anybody. They just do methamphetamine and, and hide from the law. Maybe have sex with their sister or cousin. I don't know. But if we begin to become the stereotypes, then who's right about all of us? Those who sit on Mount Olympus or those whose feet are closer to Hades? We are the people, not just in America, but of the world. And we should not be corralled cattle, like cattle or, or treated like animals forsaking some of those who believe, who feel and who have proven that they are superior. And they are superior, they're more superior over whites, blacks, Mexicans, and some pockets of Asians. These elitists control us all, and I'm not gonna fight you, I'm gonna fight them. Friend, <laughs>